Hey guys, so very interesting stories coming out um, on Twitter and it's pretty much confirmed, but a guy was playing at PT and he was playing Amulet Bloom. So if you know in modern, Amulet Bloom has a turn one kill. So you need seven cards and it's kind of like Exodia. If you remember like Yu-Gi-Oh and then that dude has the blue eyes, white dragon, Kyber, and then yu gi -Oh's like, oh no, I got like this crappy arm and leg and Oh, and then he finally picks up the Exodia piece and he wins. Kind of like Exodia, if you get all seven pieces in your opening hand, you win by turn one. Now what was so strange about this guy was he won five times in a row on turn one. Now, and then he was talking about how he was going to get the deck banned and some dude was like, we're going to get you banned. <laughs> so like that Twitter feed was so funny. Essentially what he did was he had a 60 card deck he put seven cards in his lap. I'm going to talk about this lap cheat because I didn't realize it was so prevalent that people were putting cards in their lap. It just seems so obvious to me. But he would present you with a deck of 50 free cards. So seven cards would be missing. That is his opening hand which with Amulet Bloom. If your opening hand has seven exactly cards that you need, you win on turn one consistently. So what happens is he gives you his deck, you, I guess you cut it or you shuffle it or whatever you're doing with it and then you hand back to him and then he you know, puts his seven cards in his lap or I don't know, his sleeve, I don't know where it's coming from, I'm guess people are saying it's his lap, then puts on top of his deck, draw seven, guess what, turn one kill, it's over. And he did this for five rounds, so he won ten games this way. How insane is that? <laughs> It can happen this way. Like, dude, it's like some villain from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like Bandit Keef. Do you guys know who Bandit Keef is? Watch, like, Google him on Yu-Gi-Oh. Bandit Keef would, like, draw, like, extra cards from his sleeve whenever he needed. This is actually worse, because at least Joey, the dude from Yu-Gi-Oh, could battle Bandit Keef, and Bandit Keef wasn't drawing, like, seven, you know, wasn't setting up the deck so he could... At least Bandit Keef didn't have Exodia. Essentially, this guy's pulling Exodia every single turn, and no one's stopping him. No one stopped him. He kept going. Turn one kills all the time. I mean, come on now. Like, you need seven, exactly seven of those cards. Like, it couldn't even be duplicates of some of the cards. And you win. And that's what he continued to do, and he was recently called out, and I believe he is being investigated. If he's not being investigated, he's already been disqualified or suspended. Uh, this dude is something like out of like a Yu-Gi-Oh! villain book. About that one dude. I mean, think about what's happening. The guy's putting seven cards on his lap, and then gives you your deck, you know, and you cut his deck, and then... He palms seven cards over it and then draws the exact seven cards he needs to kill you in turn one. And he continues to do this every single patch he's in. Like, how can you beat that? Like, how can you beat it? And crazy, right? Crazy that he gets to win money. Crazy, like, all this ha is happening where at the higher events... So it's kind of like chicken or egg. Are you saying that people who do well are all cheaters? Or are you saying cheaters do well? And I don't know, like there's a big issue, like I'm going to talk in a separate video about this cards and lap issue, which just sounds utterly ridiculous to me, like this can happen, that like at a pro level with cameras and stuff, that dudes are, have cards in their laps and not, oh, I mean this happened in the pro tour way back when, which was bad, um, where dudes would have, uh, what was it, the carnivorous bloom? combo and drain life and they would put it in their lap and then when the time came, they, when the necessary time came and they had enough uh, to cast it, they would just pull it from their lap and play it as an extra as an extra card. I mean, I guess magic hasn't changed all that much if people are still using the cards and lap trick to uh, win games from combo decks, which, you know, that was like way back when uh, Mike Long, Mark Justice style and now you have these new pros who still have cards in their laps and it's, I don't know, it's kind of disgusting and it gives me way more respect for the pros who play fairly because it's kind of like they are pitchers not on drugs, not on performance enhancing drugs 
and then the batters are you know pretty much some people are and that could be very difficult I mean where somebody is turn one killing, killing you on turn one consistently all the time I mean that just makes uh, and you cannot prove that they did something wrong because it's done you know whatever it's uh, so he took precautions he knew exactly what he was doing because he double sleeved his deck so his deck was about the regular size a lot of people would say if you're missing seven cards I would notice that but when you pile shuffle you pile shuffle pretty much in sevens and that's just how I've been taught how to pile shuffle and so you wouldn't notice that because you're just missing, you know, seven. So the, the way that you count it doesn't work, and, and you wouldn't feel the difference because it, it's double sleeved, and you know that's kind of crazy, right? That somebody can still in today's at a high level get away with doing something like that, where they can just pull out Exodia, put Exodia in their lap, pull it out whenever they need to and just when I mean you have no chance of beating him you have absolutely no chance in modern of beating him you can pack him the gate for an extra turn but you're just going to kill yourself after uh, the combo is too fast and you know the arrogance the arrogance of it to say that I'm going to get this deck banned <laughs> it's pretty frightening actually it's a very high level of uh, either very idiotic people cheating or cheating at such a high level you never expect to be caught because if you can cheat at a high level event with a lot of people watching you a lot of cameras and everywhere uh, not just you know the feature matches but people have their cell phones their you know I mean that's how they got Alex Pacini that's how they got him it wasn't you know a feature match or well, they did get him in a feature match anyway but originally Drew Levin got him on a uh, cell phone and very visibly saw that happen and that's crazy to me that people are I don't know like you must cheat at such so often that you have no concept of being caught bye guys